One of the most overlooked elements when it comes to reaching goals, it doesn't make a difference if you're trying to build muscle, trying to drop body fat, both at the same time, make money. It doesn't matter what your goal is, whatever your definition of success is. A positive state of mind is literally the most overlooked element in the human race. What makes us so different as human beings versus all the other creatures on the planet is we have this intellect, we have this brain that can do amazing things. The problem is for so many people in the world, their brain works against them, not for them. This is a fact. Every thought you have, whether it's good or bad, is accompanied by a chemical from your brain. If you have bad thoughts, you have a little chemist pumping out bad chemicals, stress hormones. You have good thoughts, you have a different chemist who's pumping out good hormones, such as serotonin and you know the non-stress hormones, the dopamines, the ones that make you feel good, the ones that make you feel happy, the ones that make you feel energized. So again, when People are walking around and they're constantly negative self-talking themselves. They don't believing that they can do whatever they want to do. This is the stuff that's holding them back. Negative self-talk, negative self-image, not believing that you're capable of doing what you want to do is what's holding you back. It's that simple. If you look at the people that have achieved, for the most part, what you've wanted to achieve, the, the, the major difference is, is that they basically sucked it up and they dealt with the failures. They dealt with the fears, they dealt with the things that they had to overcome to get where they want to, to go. And they had to enter these scenarios with some momentum, with some positive self-talk, with some confidence, with some belief to get through those challenges. So again, hands down, one of the most overlooked tools that humans have to reach their goals, to get what they want, to have the life they want, is the brain. Understanding how to use the brain in our favor versus letting the brain basically take advantage of us. Think of that little voice in our heads. That little voice in our heads is always telling us we don't have one more of whatever it is. We don't have the time to go work out. We don't, you know, we don't have, you know, the energy to do one more phone call or one more meeting or maybe reach out to a loved one who's in need. We always have this voice telling us that we can't, that we don't have time, that we don't have what we need to do it. Bullshit. Yes, you do have it. All you've got to do is make a habit of not listening to that voice, but of but more importantly, taking a stand against the voice because that's gonna first, you're gonna have to take a stand against the voice. You're gonna have to push into the voice. You're gonna have to show yourself that the voice is full of shit. And then this stuff gets much, much easier. So again, think about this. Your brain is the most powerful tool you have to get what you want. The question is, is the brain going to help you get what you want? Or is the brain gonna keep you from getting what you want? And it all starts with frame of mind. You can look at the day in two ways. You can look at the day of, man, this is gonna be a tough day. Or you can realize that that tough day is actually gonna make you better so that you can go get you what you want. So many people think that they have problems. Well, it's all in how you look at it. Problems are opportunities. But the question is, do you see it that way? I don't believe that I have problems. I believe I have opportunities. I believe I have challenges. Yes, I'm surrounded by challenges. Other people might say I'm surrounded by problems. It's a frame of mind. When I say I'm surrounded by problems, guess what? That little chemist, the negative chemist, starts dropping cortisol, negative stress hormone only, right in my bloodstream, makes me feel like shit. Versus when I say, you know, I got some challenges. That's a different thought process. That's a different chemical. That's a different approach to the situation. So do you see perspective is so key? Like, are you one of these people that says, if you see a glass and it's halfway, do you look at it and say, man, that's, that's halfway full? Or do you look at it and go, it's halfway empty? It's a perspective, it's the same goddamn thing. But how do you perceive that glass that is at the halfway mark? If you're a half empty person, that means you gotta start practicing reconstructing your mental framework and your thought process to see the good rather than the bad. It takes some practice, but you'll be very pleased with how quickly it'll happen. Now on that level, you just gotta realize that we're surrounded with people in the world who see the bad, not the good. And it's real easy to get sucked back into that. So once you start getting a more positive perspective on your life, positive perspective on the world, just be ready that people are gonna stand against you because most people are intimidated by the fact that you don't see problems, you see challenges because they want you to see problems just like they see problems. That being said, keep that positive state of mind and go get that shit.
Let's go. If you like what I talked about in this video or any other videos on this channel, you may want to check out my coaching where I help people become the best versions of themselves with mindset, accountability, discipline, training, and nutrition. Click that link below and check it out.